Hey, hey, hey guys, it's the Keto King here. And today we are making a cauliflower mac and cheese. Yes, it's keto, yes, it's low carb, and it's exceptionally easy to make. Can't ask for more. So let's get right to it. The ingredients you'll need for today are some cauliflower, butter, cheese, some cream cheese, whipping cream or any type of cream will do, onion powder, and bacon. That's it. Right then, grab yourself a pan, a skillet, anything you want will work here. Pop it on the stove. Put in a nice, generous helping of olive oil into that pan. Put that on a medium to medium high heat and then add in a bacon of your choice. You could even use some ham. I'm using some turkey bacon here. Anything would work. And once it's starting to get going, don't wait too long. Then you're gonna add in roughly eight cups of cauliflower or it works out to be about a whole head of cauliflower, medium sized one that is. Just give that all a stir and now you want to get a nice coating and a little bit of color on the cauliflower and your bacon. And now for the cauliflower pieces, you want to cut them fairly small, somewhat trying to emulate the size and shape of a macaroni. So a longer piece like that would be fantastic and work great, but it really doesn't matter in the big scheme of things. Just cut them up into roughly this size and then you can bomb them in your pan. And after about five to ten minutes this looks done to me you can see the uh, the bacon has some wonderful color on it so does the cauliflower the cauliflower is still fairly hard because it is going in the oven but this is exactly how you want it to look and I'll take that off the stove now would be a good time to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and in the meantime grab another saucepan and you're gonna add one tablespoon of butter half a cup of cream I'm using a whipping cream here two ounces of cream cheese and then let that melt slowly and let all the ingredients combine now you just want to add a few spices to this sauce you're going to be putting on really all of the spices are optional quantities are optional too you can use as much or as little as you want I recommend half a teaspoon of onion powder a few cracks of black pepper and then some red chili flakes give that all a good stir again right then we're going to add one and a half cups of cheddar cheese into it you can use any cheese you want I like a sharp old cheddar but use whatever you like add this in slowly I would do about half of it first at a time Give that a stir, let it all melt in, and then you can add the other half. And just look how good <laughs> this looks. My goodness. Right then, grab your cauliflower and bacon mix and add it into a pan. I'm using a 20 centimeter by 28 centimeter pan, or eight by 11 inch pan, but really any size will work. Don't stress about it. And once that's in, grab your cheese sauce and pour that goodness all over. Just mix in the sauce and make sure it coats and covers all of the cauliflower. And then you want to just coat the top with a light sprinkling of cheese or as much cheese as you want really. I'm using roughly half a cup here. And then place your cauliflower mac and cheese in the oven for around 15 minutes and after 15 minutes it looks really good to me everything's melted got some lovely color on the top and on the sides so what we're gonna do is just put this on broil for just a few minutes until it gets nice and brown to give it some golden color on the top and after a few minutes you end up with keto mac and cheese like this
What I then recommend is letting this cool for around 10 minutes. Yes, I know it's gonna be difficult. That'll let the sauce get a little bit firmer and it'll be easier to serve. Now you can use this as your main dish or other, alternatively you could use this as a side dish, uh, maybe to go with a protein and a salad. That would be fantastic. Either way, you guys are gonna love this. Man, the smell of this is incredible. All right, now for the taste test. Right, look at that, just got a wonderfully crispy top there. Wow, guys, this is so good. Honestly, it's got the same flavor profile as mac and cheese, really. That sauce is incredibly rich. The lovely golden brown cheese and topping gives it that lovely crunch. And seriously, guys, I highly recommend the bacon or the ham in there because that, to me at least, makes it taste very similar to mac and cheese. Guys, you will love this. I promise you give this a go. It's not difficult. And don't forget to let me know how you enjoyed this when you try it. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. I truly appreciate it. Smash that thumbs up button if you like this recipe and want to see more. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new amazing low-carb or keto recipes that I upload. And of course, keep it keto.